Honor AP was the top price yearling in his crop, and you know, first crop of, of Honor Code, and you know, 850 up at Saratoga. David and Gordo bought him for Lee Searing, and um, you know, he went on to be uh, kind of an it horse at every stage of his uh, development. Such a distinguishable looking horse, you know, he's, he's very obvious on the racetrack, and so he's easy to pick out and, and to follow. And when he got out to California, we were immediately hearing positive things from John Sheriffs about him. Honor AP um, showed a lot of talent in the sense that he got over the ground really nicely. When he was working, it was it almost seemed effortless. And then you look down at the stopwatch and you go, oh my gosh, he actually did that. He just carries his speed. Honor AP was, was really good as a two-year-old. And it was good because his talent made him good. He always got over the ground well. That's the, one of the first things I noticed about him with a huge stride, a length of stride you can't believe. He was one of those uh, athletes that was just ahead of his class. So his confirmation is just perfect for a racehorse. Honor AP was the most talented of the three-year-old cults that I had, with Giacomo, Tiago, AP Warrior, Gormley. When a horse like that is so clearly a standout and then lives up to those expectations, a lot like AP Andy did, it's exciting and he was precocious from the very beginning and to come back and run a Santa Anita Derby the way he did and, and to beat Authentic in that race the way he did really showed how talented he was. It's unfortunate that the Derby was his last start, but we're so excited to have him here as a stallion now. To have Honor Code and, and him both here is very exciting.